Hi, Jack. Jack, before I tell you the story of how I got this rose, there's something I have to tell you, and it's really important. Okay, well, go ahead, Tim Pablo. What is it? Well, Jack, the truth is that you and I are one. I'm you, Jack. But please, don't tell anyone. Jack, before I tell you the story about how I got this rose, there's something really important I have to tell you. And please, don't tell anybody else. Okay, Tim Tavo, why so important that you need to tell me? I'm you, Jack. Is that true? If it is, that's really cool. A couple months back, I was sitting right here on this bench at this park in a crazy world. A rose, a rose dropped down out of the sky and there was a note on it. A rose dropped out of the sky and there was a note on it. And I read the note and it said Whoever has this rose will be able to do wonderful things but be careful because this rose that can go to different places and different eras of time love God. After a while I learned how to go into the future and into the past. At first by a few minutes, but then by hours. Okay, Jack, just listen. The story is almost over. Go. Oh. Action. After that, I went back in my own universe one thing only. The only reason I went back to the Adam and Eve time, Jack, is because the world was too evil and I really wanted to fix it. Mm. The consequences of me going back in time to fix the world and using the rose is I look old even though I'm young, Jack. Read the Bible, Jack, especially Genesis 1-1 and John 3-16.